an elderly lady presented with a history of trauma to the eye with a ball which needed treatment for about 2 months with topical medications about a year ago with postrecenic signs of inflammation and phacodonesis indicating a possible tear in the zonules somewhere around the cataract Rexis is done very carefully with the tunnel floor entry, entry technique so that there is no loss of viscoelastic from the eye during this. The lens movement was there which again indicated the loss of a total zonular support to the lens margin. I predicted that the upper half of the zonules where there is tiny K as well as lower temporal quadrant is probably dehiscent. I was very careful while doing the rexis and it was possible to complete the rexis without any adverse changes. Note that the zonules in the lower temporal quadrant are deficient while the lower nasal quadrant that is in the top right of the image I am operating in the upper temporal quadrant is there is a distinct absence of zonules in the on the anterior capsules in the lower temporal quadrant as well as in the upper quadrants i noted that i was not i had not com- i could not complete the rexis uh, the rexis was rather tearing rather pulling the zonules rather than tearing it then i stopped at the fag end of the rexis creation then enlarged the internal lip of the tunnel to create a trapezoid tunnel this is a, a sclerolimbal corneal tunnel and then I was very carefully, this is very important if you not completed the rexis, it's very carefully you will have to complete it using either an utrata forceps or a simco cannula. Now you see that is the completion of the rexis. Otherwise you will have an in, in, inadvertent pull on the entire capsular bag. So I did a very uh, careful segmental hydrodissection and uh, I wanted to minimize for the damage to the already uh, deficient zonular system. I did not push the uh, cataract way backwards. It is a shallow is even now. Rotate the nucleus completely so that there is no additions between nucleus, epinucleus and the cortex. And I could, uh, you can see the uh, from 5 o'clock till 9 o'clock, there is a deficiency in the zonules, the capsule perhaps as I was relaxing, I was rotating the nucleus out of the capsular bag. But it was uh, pretty easy to rotate it out in spite of the zonular deficiency. I could easily bisect the nucleus in the entry chamber under the continuous irrigation of visco on the, nu- on the nucleus as it's migrating out from the eye to the outside. I brought the second half of the nucleus in line with the tunnel. Uh, and there is no vitreous apterus, there is no uh, presentation of vitreous during the entire surgery. I uh, tried to remove the cortex from the lower nasal quadrant initially where it's still attached. Uh, you can see the capsule in the lower temporal quadrant is tumulus and it's prolapsing out of the zonular attachment. The upper uh, cortex is better than lower temporal quadrant but it still you can see the you can feel and see the uh, pull on the capsular bag i'm tangentially pulling the cortex out of the capsular bag to minimize traction on the zonules and the capsular bag you can see the prolapse of uh, lower temporal quadrant i'm not hesitant because fluidics is in my control the aspiration and uh, irrigation is under my control this patient had opted for a multifocal lens. I could comfortably place that in the capsular bag. The weight of the intraocular lens is, uh, uh, you know, maybe one tenth or even less than the weight of the cataract. So when this capsular bag had kept on for for an year's time, uh, the weight of the uh, lens, I thought, the uh, the you know very minuscule weight of the lens can be easily managed by the attached zonules. There is a possibility of uh, capsular contraction syndrome in this patient which can be managed at a later stage with the arc laser and uh, I am supporting the 
lens in such a way that the capsular bag, which is maximally dehiscent, is supported with the haptics. Lens is well centered, and uh, I'm very happy with the results. Moxifloxacillin in the capsular bag at the end of surgery. The eye is kept open. The pressure is normal at the end of surgery, and the patient can go home without. Patient was advised adequately to not to have any further injury to the eye in the days to come. Thank you.